right guys i just want to share uh torque specs on this uh 2.3 engine uh with that you know uh installing a new cylinder head i mean a rebuilt cylinder head on it and all the components i want to share uh timing marks and torque specs so on um on the cylinder head uh it's going to be um the first step it's going to be 29 pounds I'm, I i'm gonna put the a picture of the a sequence the way it goes the way you need to torque it down <clears throat> and the first step is going to be 29 second step it's going to be 51 and the third step it's going to be uh 73 pounds on it okay so um uh, the other thing on the uh exhaust manifold they're going to be 15 on each one on each nut and if you got your intake manifold off i mean like I take the whole thing out, you know, all together. So I torque it out, outside and then put the whole thing, sit the whole cylinder head with with the intake at the same time, you know. But torque specs on the uh, on the um, on the nuts is gonna be uh, 15. So 15 on the nut, all the nuts on the intake manifold. Now I'm gonna show you the marks on the uh, timing. And um, let me see out now on the uh, on this on this one right here. This notch had to line up with this notch right there. See that one right there? It had to line up with that one right there. And um, the other one, let's go down. Well, yeah, let me see if I can catch that one right here. The balancer shaft, okay? So on the balancer shaft. There is a notch right there. Let me get the flat head again. Go right here. There is a notch right there. I don't know if you can see the notch right there. So that one it has to line up with the with the little metal dot right here. Not between. Not between because there, it looks like it, there is two, but not between. It needs to be on this one. And it has to line up with the dot with the notch right there. Let me go down. So I show you, okay. Show you what I'm trying to say on this one, okay. Oh, we can see better right here, I think. Okay, so on this one, see the notch right there? See the notch right there? It has to match the little dot right there, metal dot right there, aluminum dot right there, that one. It has to match in the bottom one. It should be alignment with the uh, let me see now a little bit. See this one right here. It has to line up with this one right here. I mean, you barely can catch that one right on because uh, there is no way to um, exactly get it. But uh, if you we, we set up the, the, the phone right on, you can see this image that match right this one. Let me see right here. You see this one match with this one right there. You can see right on, okay? And now you crank out fully. It needs to line up this notch right here. Let me go in. This notch right there has to line with this one. You know, there is a little one too right here. And then this too. So, like, if you see this one, I'm going to see if I can move a little bit. Back. A little bit on the one. Okay, about right there. Mm -hmm, but right there. You see it's right on. Can you see that right there? So it, it, it matched the arrows right behind. So now we just have to set it. I mean, we just have to install the, the timing. Oh, make sure that you got the right bolt over here because sometimes people lose this bolt and they use any kind of bolt. And then if you use any kind of bolt on this one, use a tray lock if you're not using the right one for it. So now we're gonna set the timing and we're gonna install the timing, the um, the timing belt first, and then we're gonna start the balancer shaft timing. Let me go ahead and do that. All right, guys, I already got the timing on, so it's kind of tight right there. So I start from the bottom, bring it over here, and go all the way around, you know, to the tensioner right there. Um, okay, now, I already got the pulley right here. Okay, one thing that I wanna show, I wanna tell is about the, uh, let me zoom in. So make sure, make sure when you put the, 
<clears throat> hold on let me get this thing when you put the time in the timing uh, tensioner right here make sure the um the tensioner goes through right on uh on the hole on the on the pin right there there is a pin right there you have to slide back in there make sure they sit right on because that's the guy right there so um now now we can slide the the uh, balancer pulley right here and we can remember this one right here this one right here this is the one goes right here so hold on but i want to show this bolt make sure your bolt it looks like this because it got this guy right here where it goes right in the hole right here and that's how it goes see so make sure you got the right bolt for it okay don't don't use any other bolt for it because it, it won't work so let me put this right here and i'll show you okay okay i got it right on see how it goes and right here from here from this end right here this little hole right there let me zoom in from here we have to hook the other spring goes through here okay so and don't forget to put this washer right here okay you need a washer right there and then the the, the, the nut goes in there hold on let me find the nut right there let me find that nut goes in here okay i got the nut goes right here right there and it'll tie it right there now we're going to get the the spring on it this spring goes like that let me let me see if i can get it right on without okay oh, i fell off hold on let me get that all right guys so this is how it looks the everything already you know in place marks right on place see the notch right there let me zoom in see right there marks already in there and um spring already in there what else i uh, got the um the other tensioner right there the other uh spring right there marks right on so <clears throat> um now uh on this one let me check this one right here on this bolt right here they go uh 10 pounds each so it just snug this one's right on it you know and the same thing on this one this one is gonna have a little play because it's like a tensioner guy or some you know to keep the pulley in place <clears throat> i mean to keep the um the uh what it call balancer shaft the belt in place you know so uh, what else? I think that's gonna be it, guys. The uh, torque specs for this one. On this one, uh, let me check the book. Let me check the uh, what was that? But I put the spec. I mean, I put the uh, torque specs on this one right here, right here on the right in the corner. In um, in the ball cover, you just need the, at least eight pounds on each one. You know, you don't need to do a lot of things on that one. Just <clears throat> Turk it down, it's not them right, not too tight because they break right away. So, yeah, guys, I hope that video helps. I know probably it's not the big, I mean, light information, you know, like the way it's supposed to, but it should be enough to get this job down. Don't forget to do two turns and make sure all the marks line up back again. Probably this one, it won't line up, you know, but uh, the timing, it should line up. That's all you need. You don't have to worry about this one at all because you already set it up. So this one, it will move. It's going to be on the right spot after two turns. The one you have to worry is going to be this marks, you know. Make the grind shaft pulley and this marks line up where it's supposed to. So that should be enough. All right, guys. Now the time to, uh, it's time to set, set up the uh, distributor. So uh, if you see this notch right here, uh, let me turn around see right there they uh if let's say this is the right way to go so see the way it goes so it goes like uh yeah it goes like this and then go like that right so one thing if 
if it this this notch is turned the other either way like that it won't sit back it won't sit right there it won't sit so this is the way to go why why is the way to go because this is the one is pointing to the one cylinder you know this it needs to be pointed to the one cylinder like that way look at i'm gonna sit it right i'm gonna put it on and you will see so see the way that i'm putting them on like this and uh i'm gonna sit it right there and it sit it's full seat right there okay so that's the way to go right there let me move this out of the way that's the way to go uh and now if you see it's pointing to the cylinder one let me show you why that's how it goes if you see that's this is going to be your cylinder one right here see how it looks right there right so the rotation is going to be this way right clockwise and that's what is on that position right there when it cranks it's going to start and it's going to make the spark on this on the first cylinder because this is the way to go so this is your first cylinder right now i got the i got the piston number one all the way to the top so tdc all the way to the top and that's why these um this notch right there looks like that right because it's right on tdc so i'm gonna put this one in there okay so it just has it just has to be full seat on it let's see if i can see it right on okay right there Mm -hmm. right there now i'm gonna put the cover on with the eight millimeters and that's how it looks make sure you got that spring right there if it not it won't make no spark so it won't work right all right guys so i hope that video helps and uh you know remember don't waste your time it's too short and i'll see you next time peace